Hello, everyone. Welcome to this follow-up for Steve McQueen by Prefab Sprout, one of the best Sophistapop albums out there on the market. Uh, I enjoyed this album quite a bit. I don't love the last half as much as the first half. It's very uh, lopsided in terms of quality. Um, and I know that this certain bands do this uh, where they'll just throw all the good stuff at the front. I don't know why they do that, but whatever. Uh, let's go track by track on this thing. As you can see, I, I, the, I have it at a 3.5 uh, out of 5. I think it's quite good. Um, so first track, Fair and Young, is that fun sort of like rockabilly guitar riff that cuts into the new wave chorus breaks really nicely and a great climax at the end. Um, good way to kick off the album. Bonnie is super pleasant, just great sentimental, jangly 80s sound. It's definitely a highlight on the album. Appetite is a great little synthy number. It's not a personal favorite, but I still enjoy it when it's on. I wouldn't skip it. Uh, when Love Breaks Down, I had already done a song reaction for this uh, before I did the album. Um, love the offbeat structure of the track, the great vocal performance too. Uh, just really solid, sophisticated new wave right there. Goodbye, Lucille, number one. Personal favorite on the album. Uh, great guitar work, fantastic climaxes, vocal performance is good. Just awesome. Love it. Uh, Hallelujah has a nice guitar tone. It's just a bit of a boring structure, which is kind of the, uh, I feel like, the sin of the the last half of the album here uh, that commits. Uh, moving the River. I like this one an ounce more than Hallelujah. It has a bit more interesting phrasing and playing. Still pretty low key though. Horsing Around. Uh, I kind of warmed up to this one a little bit when I first listened to it. I'm like, what is this? It's like this loungy bossa nova thing. Um, and I have to give it this rating because of how daring that sound is on a record like this. It's just, it's, it's entertaining. Uh, Desire As. I like the synth tone, but it's just too long and the vocals are a bit dull. Uh, I can see some people really liking this track in particular, though. Like, I get it. Blueberry Pies, what is this? Why is it here? When the Angels, fun instrumental on this one. Not a highlight, but a fine way for the album to go out. Um, so, yeah, that's how I feel about it. I don't hate the last half. Uh, Horsing Around and When the Angels, um, I think, are very pleasant tracks. Uh, it's just like the first five are like fantastic magnificent and it's just like weirdly lopsided of an album uh but i think it was great and i'm going to listen to uh, a good handful of these songs quite a bit as uh, as the future approaches as time goes on as things happen anyway that's my follow-up to steve mcqueen by prefab sprout thank you all so much for watching and until next time godspeed mm -hmm.